I know who I can count on. It's director Sean Hobbs because he always tells me the latest in everything movies. So here's director Sean Hobbs from the director's chair with Tuesday's edition. Check it out. Don't do this. I ain't got a choice. That's the same thing your father said, and he died right here in my hands. Boxing sequel Creed 2 leads the new movies at home today. Michael B. Jordan's Creed set to box the son of Ivan Drago, the man who killed his father in the ring in Rocky IV. Of course, Sylvester Stallone's Rocky's there, got his back. Dolph Lundgren is back, too. It's not quite as good as Creed, but continues to honor the Rocky legacy with grace. Thanks, Daddy. Just got my first daddy. And then more good stuff. Instant Family, much better and funnier than expected, with Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne adopting three grown siblings. Did you just look at me? Look at me! How dare you! Close your eyes! The favorite, the stylish and wicked and droll period piece with Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz battling for the attention of Queen Anne and Oscar-winning Olivia Colman. Does it feel different to be up there without a rope? The Edge of Your Seat Oscar-winning documentary Free Solo, which follows maniac Alex Honnold up a mountain without any safety gear. This time tomorrow you are back in sober living. Yeah, okay. You did not leave my sight ever. And the drama Ben is back with a fierce Julia Roberts out to protect her drug addict son Lucas Hedges out of rehab but in some trouble. That's what this show is about. It's about rebirth. Then there's Natalie Portman in Vox Lux as a pop star who rose to fame after surviving a school shooting. Jude Law co-stars. The sea shows no mercy. There's The Mercy, Colin Firth trying to sail around the world. Rachel Weisz co-stars. And The Vanishing with lighthouse keeper Gerard Butler driven to violence by greed. More indies, Backroads, directed by and starring Alex Pettifer facing family trauma opposite Juliette Lewis and Jennifer Morrison. Awkward talk with Dad. Over. <laughs> the Clove Hitch killer, Dad Dylan McDermott, might be a serial killer. Dead Ant, Tom Arnold in an 80s rock band versus Giant Ants. And the Trump prophecy about a fireman who receives religious visions about the Trump presidency. The new foreign film, South Korea's acclaimed Burning with Stephen Yun as a mysterious arsonist. And Buffalo Boys, an Indonesian western about two vengeful brothers. Where I'm from, your grandson becomes the greatest hero of the universe. In TV box sets comes the Superman prequel Krypton, also the latest House of Cards and Fear the Walking Dead. With electricity, we can plant in the dry season. Streaming, Netflix just dropped The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, starring and directed by Chiwetel Ejiofor, about an African boy who builds a wind turbine to save his village from starvation. While well, Amazon Prime brings us the series The Widow, Kate Beckinsale searching for her missing husband in the Congo, and HBO, of course, that controversial Michael Jackson abuse documentary, Leaving Neverland. Do you ever look at your kids and not recognize them? The exclusive new movie's on demand. A woman suspects her son has been taken over by evil in the hole in the ground. Jean-Claude Van Damme takes on a Mexican drug cartel and We Die Young. And Lindsay Lohan mixes it up with werewolves in Among the Shadows. Permission to come aboard. Yeah, and finally, Aquaman is new to own digitally today. That is a three-week jump on all the other formats. That's the latest from the director's chair. I can't wait to see Instant Family. I've been counting down. Thank you, Director Sean Hobbs. Yeah, you liked it, but you didn't. You want to see it, but not badly enough to buy it. You were waiting. Yeah, for yeah, the I rent. was waiting for the rent part. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs>